Okay, so I'm here today with Mikey Cox from Concord University, and he works for Concord as their men and women's track and field. He's their head coach, and he's also involved as an instructor there at Concord as well. So thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Happy to be here. Well, I'm just going to ask you a few questions, and we'll start out by what does a typical day look like for you at Concord? What do you do every day? Uh, usually, I typically be here, um, you know, about 7.30 after dropping the kids off at school. Um, usually do a workout myself. Um, you know, then I get in the office and then start looking at um, basically the day's uh, workouts. Uh, since I'm not teaching class this semester, um, you know, kind of looking at, um, you know, what everybody's going to do for the day and for the workout and where we're going to meet. Um, and then uh, typically we'll start recruiting. You know, but, you know, it's usually sending emails. Um, there's typically usually paperwork with stuff with class excuses or, um, you know, getting hotel rooms for, for meets, um, you know, getting the schedule together. Um, and then sometimes we'll actually even do like earlier practices for some people who have class during practice time. So I'll go out and meet with them and do their workout with them um, throughout the day. Um, so yeah, and then practice is, is at three o'clock on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, three thirty on Tuesday, Thursday, and then we typically we're lifting on Monday, Wednesday with a group at five, and then we're lifting with another group on Tuesday, Thursday at five. Um, so usually wrap up around six o'clock, um, you know, every day, somewhere around there. So what is the season? Is it like fall, spring, or do you, I guess you stay busy all year with it pretty much. Yeah, we basically have three seasons with, you know, when, when COVID, you know, before COVID and hopefully in the future, it will be a, a fall cross country season in the fall. Um, typically running from uh, the season will go from August to November and then our indoor season uh, runs basically from August to, well, I mean, um, November to February, and then our outdoor season runs basically from the 1st of March to um, mid-May. Right. So my next question says, what led you to this career path? Well, anybody that knows you knows you're a runner, so I would assume that your love for running probably had a lot to do with it. Well, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. I, I, I just kind of fell into this position as a coach. Um, I started here actually as, as a as a full time um, teacher, um, and you know the coach that was coaching before me um, basically said he didn't want to do it anymore and was wanting to pass that down. Um, and I basically kind of just stepped into that, um, you know, got to step into the position basically um, that way, and I, I just slowly went from you know, full-time teaching to where, you know, really I'm just teaching, you know, one or two classes and, 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 you know, mainly coaching, obviously. Right. So what kind of school or background do, if someone um, is interested in like a coaching career, what, what would you recommend to high school students? If that's their passion, they want to do something in the coaching area. What, what do they yeah, need I mean, to do? They, they even have some major, you know, some coaching majors out there at some, some universities. Um, you know, I went to Virginia Tech. I, I studied exercise science in my undergraduate degree, and then my master's was in health promotion. Um, and a lot of the, of the the coaching positions will will, will prefer a master's uh, degree um, for the coaching position, but it's definitely not a must. But you know, you could really major in anything as long as you had a, you know, you you, you had a, you know, a lot of knowledge about 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 the sport, uh, basically. But um, I would say typically going into something like that, like a um, you know, a sports management, um, you know, an exercise phys or something like that um, would be a good option. Be helpful for sure. Um, so tell us, uh, when dealing with your career, what do you think is the most challenging thing or challenging aspect of your job? Uh, just recruiting. I mean, that, that's that's the, um, you know, that's if you don't have athletes, you can't, uh, you can't coach them. So <laughs> that's probably the, you know, the, one, the most important and the minimum and the most challenging. Do you all get mostly locals or you have to recruit out of the area mostly? Um, you know, we, we typically get most of our athletes from Virginia and West Virginia um, mainly, but, um, you know, we have some from Tennessee, 
um, Ohio, um, even internationally, we have a, you know, a couple of girls from the Bahamas. Um, so it, it definitely varies, uh, but I'd say the majority is Virginia, West Virginia, for sure. Right. So um, what would be a rewarding aspect about your career? Something you could share with students? Yeah, just watching kids, you know, grow um, and, and, and learn um, both in the classroom and, and on, you know, in the sport, uh, in, their, in their field, you know, whether they're track or, or cross country or both. Um, just watching them improve is, uh, is what, it, you know, what it's all about for me. Right. And give us some advice for high school students today. What would you tell them? Whether it's in careers or just life advice in general. Yeah, just, you know, be consistent and work hard. Um, I think, you know, it's hard to find people who are, who are willing to work hard uh, these days. Um, so, you know, setting yourself, a, 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 you know, above others by, you know, just, you know, being willing to work and, you know, with a positive attitude and, you know, there'll be setbacks, but just, you know, keep plugging away and, and um, you know, keep setting goals and, and trying to reach those goals. I think that's great advice. And I want to just thank you for just taking a little bit of time out of your day to share with us about your career and a little bit of background with that. We appreciate you so much. My pleasure. Anytime. Thank you. You're welcome.